What is up, guys? Flippin' my 14. I'm back with here with some more Let's Play Pokemon Platinum Randomizer. Uh, last episode, we did like the Team Galactic stuff, and then, uh, you know, after that, we kind of went on to catching a safari. So, yeah, uh, since I did, um, I went ahead and did the thing with the uh, honey trees again, and since I did, I went ahead and took the liberty to. Uh, yeah, plant a few of the berries we got, so we'll just check on the areas we've been to so far. Uh, it looks like this one's almost grown, the orange, so... Yeah. And then I'm growing a, uh, I think the most useful berry is definitely going to be this one, the, uh, the Lepa berry. Which, uh, you know, normally you find ethers and stuff, but, uh, not so, uh, well, uh, you, maybe we will, maybe we won't. It's a randomizer, so, so the, uh, the items aren't normally, you know, guaranteed where you can find them as far as ethers and rare candies. So I think regrowing Lepa berries will ultimately prove helpful to me here, um, by the time we get to the Elite Four. Uh, anyway. Let's see if any of these trees have Pokemon on them now. Uh, yeah, this tree's shaking, so let's see if it's like some of the same stuff as last time or something new. Uh, Burmy, okay, well, yeah, still looks like the usual honey tree Pokemon so far. Kind of weird, but uh, anyway, I did switch out a few Pokemon. We've got uh, Brock on, who's got the awesome move, Sonic Boom. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think that'll be helpful for catching Pokemon too, because you know, it does a guaranteed like 20 damage. And then, you know, we don't have to worry about knocking them out on the first hit. See, yeah, see, see, example, if we were trying to catch this, yeah, it'd be in the red right here, so. All right. Anyway, man, this thing's getting lucky with its protects, let me tell you. Uh, anyway, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's the plan. So, uh, basically about five hours ago or so, I booted this up, and, uh, I went ahead and planted some, oh, Aftermath, <laughs> that's funny. I don't think the one we caught has after Aftermath, but that's a pretty good ability. Uh, no, no, we won't put honey. But yeah, about five or six hours ago, I put on honey around those uh, surrounding trees. Also got like a free cherry berry for going in here, so. And uh, yeah, so. Uh, also, by the way, in between um, episodes, I did harvest a few of the berries we planted last episode. And so now I've got, yeah, six Chesto and eight Pecha, which, hey man, that's like, uh, that's like six, uh, Awakenings, which are 250 apiece. So, honestly, not bad. Anyway, let's check the next honey tree. And, uh, yeah. A Cherubi! Okay, uh, we've already caught this Pokemon, apparently, but, uh, I think you can normally find Cherubi, so... So it's weird. Even though we're playing a randomizer, it seems like the, uh, honey tree Pokemon aren't really randomized at all. So, yeah, which is interesting for sure, but, uh, anyway, we'll just KO this thing. Um, yeah, and I guess, um, like I said, uh, the one honey tree Pokemon now, it is pretty rare for it to, to spawn, uh, that I would like to catch is Heracross. Uh, well, I guess Munchlax is pretty good too. Oh, by the way, I am playing this on a Friday, and yeah, um, here at Fridays, um, a Drift, um, a Drifloon will be here outside the Valley Windworks, um, only after you've cleared the, uh, Team Galactic stuff, so, yeah, ultimately we're gonna, um, yeah, we're gonna check that out, see what, uh, see what random Pokemon Drifloon is, so, uh, it should be also, like, I think Northly normally the Drifloon's, like, level 15, so, it could be a pretty, um, you know, good Pokemon, uh, you know, right on par with the levels we have now, so, yep. Alright, and now, as far as the rest of this episode, what do I plan to do? Um, well, we haven't really checked out Valley Windworks here for more random Pokemon to catch, um, and it is a, considered a separate area, so I definitely plan on doing that, um, as well, I plan on, um, well, actually, I think before we do, we check for Pokemon here in this grass, I think I'm gonna clear out, uh, some of the trainers up north, yeah, so, because all I had planned uh, for this one is to, you know, check the honey trees, check the berries, and to check this, uh, Drifloom, since it's Friday, so, we saved, let's see what it is, Drifloom is now randomized to be, Bloom, to be, Seal. Seal's a, you know, a cool Pokemon. Normally it's water and ice type. Level 15, so, yeah. Let's see what this thing's got. Alright. 
looks like it'll take a couple sonic moves. Now, normally you have great balls and ultra balls by the time you find this thing in, uh, you know, yeah, the Seafoam Islands. So, I don't know if we can catch it, but uh, we'll try, guys. We'll give it a whirl. I uh, uh, get it, whirl, like whirl islands. And, and, and. I think you can find seal at the whirl islands, too. But uh, anyway, flop a flop. Yeah, this thing probably can knock me out, too, if it decides to attack. So, I think we'll yawn and we'll switch on out of here, everyone. So, let's switch to... Yeah, they... Oh, no, I should have picked white fry. It has what rough skin. Don't attack me, no. Okay, okay. I don't know what I was thinking there. <laughs> it's like I pushed the button, but then I remember too late. Okay, ball, go. All right. Seal was caught. Let's see what type it is. Oh, after we read the Pokedex entry, of course. Seal, that sea lion Pokemon. A Pokemon that lives on icebergs. It swims in the sea, using the point of its head to break up ice. Hmm. Okay. Huh, and it's dark ground type. Um. Man, can I think of any dark ground type? I, well, I think uh, Crocorock's a dark ground, right? Sandile? You know what? Maybe I'll just name you uh, Sandy. Oh, and you happen to be a girl, too, so that kind of fits. Uh, dark ground. Hmm. Quite a few weaknesses, honestly, so it would be weak to, uh, to water, uh, grass, ice, fighting, and bug. Hmm. Eh, interesting, though. Uh, let's just see what its abilities are, just for curiosity. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I think I'm, uh... uh I'm gonna switch this a little this way. Maybe that's better, maybe it's not, I don't know. But I just know there was a bunch of extra light over that way, so... <laughs> I'll look at it post-recording, post don't worry, guys. Yeah, let's check out Seal. I don't know, maybe it was better the other way. I don't know. Uh, anyway. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's holding a full restore. That's helpful. Uh, anger. Wow. This is normally Vespa Queen's ability. It's actually a pretty good one. So, anger point. You may be wondering what it means by raise attack. It'll actually raise your attack to the max if you take a crit. That's pretty interesting. Um, now, Seal isn't normally the best as far as physical attacks go, but, but I mean, if you raise your attack set to the max, what does it really matter, right? Uh, it doesn't have any physical attacks right now. Hmm. I'm definitely going to think about that in between, um, yeah, in between episodes as far as raising that. Um, by the way, does someone have the pure incense? Because uh, I am going to fight some trainers. Yeah, you do, Zapdos. Okay. Um, you actually are pretty low leveled here, so switch Y right to the front, our starter. Alright, and we'll just head on out. Alright. So let's work on some of these trainers over here. Uh, you, battle me. Hey, how about you and me battle before I go into Eternal Forest? Let's do it. Let's battle. Bum, 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 off the Robin. Okay. Mammal Swine. Wow. Pretty beastly Pokemon, I have to say. All right. And I don't know what moves up first, but we're going to try it. Then the Shag. Oh. Hmm. Well, maybe you're Grass type? Maybe I'll try it. Yeah, normally that'd be super effective on me. But now I am the normal type, I believe. So we'll try Peck. Oh, maybe it is Grass type. Or maybe it's Fighting type. Or Bug type. Who knows? Man, I, I like the battle music for Diamond Pearl Platinum. Very cool. Alright, and we may have to pack this thing two more times. Mammal Swine is pretty bulky, so... We're also not using the bet. Oh, are you kidding me, bro? <laughs> this thing froze me? Wow. Alright. Alright, 
wife, Ray. We're gonna try to, I'm, I believe in you, honestly. I believe you can unfreeze, but uh, wow. Well, you know, how did freezing work in Gen 4? Did you have to be hit by a fire move? No, I think at this point, you basically have like a 50% chance, yeah, 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 to fall out. So, oh, one more hit, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I can't believe this, this thing froze us. That is just rude. really tried to chill me out. Uh, I heard that really tough Pokemon appear in a turn of force. You'd be more prepared than this. Yeah, yeah. The same here. If I can't even handle you, you know, a, a regular Jim Joe, Jim Joe trainer, then, uh, yeah, I need to be better prepared myself. Anyway, we'll heal here. And we will keep going. And yeah, that's all I had planned for this episode, and really the next few episodes, is to, you know, normally I don't do one-offs as far as recording, uh, but uh, in the interest of potentially catching like a Heracross or Munchlax, etc., I was just like, well, the honey tree seemed to work like normal, so I guess I'll space out my Pokemon recordings, you know, and I'll do them just like that each time, you know, plant some berries. Uh, oh, we got lucky, didn't run into any Pokemon. But yeah, you know, do some honey trees, plant some berries. There's no mountain here, but I'm dressed to hide. <laughs> here goes. Yeah, you know, plant some berries, you know, spread some honey on trees, and yeah, go by six hours per day. And a Listia. Bulbasaur. All right. I like Bulbasaur. Bible store got snow warning? That is hilarious. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, well, Bubble Sword normally resists thunder shock, so it's not really too surprising. I guess we'll see if Bubble Sword takes damage from it, uh, from snow warning. Uh, from hail, I mean. Uh, we're buffeted. Okay, okay, so he's not like ice type. Uh, we'll try back, I guess. Uh, okay. Ooh, good thing we evaded that, yeah. Well, if this thing uses, like, Tackle or something, though, he will take rough skin damage, so I think we'll just stick in here. Yeah, Thundershock does more, even though it's not very effective. Alright, alright. <laughs> That's so funny. Bulbasaur with Snow Warning. <laughs> and, um, something we saw earlier, um, I forget what it was. I think it was, oh yeah, Roserade. Roserade has Drought, which is actually pretty good teach a solar beam like normal. Uh, what you got next? Uh, yeah, we're buffeted. Execute. Okay, I think we have something that has um, an ability, perhaps, to uh, uh, Tinted Lens. Doesn't Icy Bar have... Yeah, it has Snow Cloak. Wow. That works out for us. There we go. Nice. Nice. So this hell is actually benefiting us right now. Unless you have a weather changing ability. Anticipation, huh? Alright. We just thunder shock, I guess. Nice, nice. Okay. And our evasion is up. So aw oh, dude! My evasion's up though! Aw oh, man. Aw oh, man. Well, we might as well just try to wait it out. I mean, maybe he'll die by the hail. Eh, it'll take about three turns, but yeah. Alright, and I'm not damaged because I've got Oh, really, bro? Really? You're gonna leech seed me, man. <laughs> leech seed does make sense for execute, though, because they're, they're all eggs. They're all, you know, basically, you know, baby seeds. So, yeah. Well, eggs aren't really seeds, but well, like, kind of. I don't know. You, you guys know what I mean. Uh, doesn't that wake me up, bro? Uh, thank you. That wakes me up, right? Did they change that in this game? Because I'm not awake. Uh, should an uproar wake me up? switch to get rid of this leech seed. Well then again, I like the benefits from the hail, so maybe we'll stay in. What you got? Oh, okay. 
we'll stay in. It's just been a net. <laughs> so uh, this hiker basically had a uh, a full leech sea team. Oh wow, you're super affected by thundershock too. Disable, pshaw. Yeah, pretty interesting. <laughs> I guess if we want to look something for something to combo with our icy fire, I guess we can potentially look for a mobile sword in the future, or an ivy sword, or a big sword, you know. Eh, interesting. Anyway, good to know. All right, and level four team for icy fire. All right, yeah. <laughs> okay, you can find the same kinds of Pokemon in all sorts of places. There's no law saying a hiker can't go searching off in the mountains. Well, yeah, bro, you're free to go wherever you want. What's this? Life Warp, really? Wow. <laughs> All right, now time to find Mega Rayquaza, and we've got an overpowered Pokemon. Uh, just kidding, there are no Megas in this game. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> uh, I think there's a hit. Oh, I had an item up north. I love Pokemon that smells sweet. Like this one. Get a whiff of this. Oh, please send out Grimer. Please send out Grimer. Send out Grimer. Send out Grimer. It'll be funny. Send out Grimer. 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 Cool trainer Kim. Oh, I mean, it's just not to. Oh, uh, that could have been really funny, though. <laughs> Imagine if you send out like a muck or a Grimer or something. Or something that smells. Lucky Chan. Okay. I mean, like, what else Pokemon canonically smells? Uh, like Stunky? Yeah, Stunky. That would have been pretty funny. <laughs> uh, all right, this thing's just, you know, staring at us. I'm uh, pretty sure not too knows Nightshade by that level, which, honestly, Nightshade, much like Super Sonic Boom, would be pretty good Pokemon in a randomizer. I missed what she said. If you plant lots of berries, you can be surrounded by sweet scents. Ah. But yeah, I think there's a hidden item right here. Yes, a Focus Sash. Ooh. Now, I'm pretty sure that's, that's the one that's consumable, right? Uh, Focus Sash. Hmm. Yeah, it is. Uh, I mean, that is still pretty good, though. Pretty good item. May help us in a Elite Four match or something. Uh, let's just sneak past here. And let's battle this trainer. Hello. What kinds of Pokemon live around here? I wonder. Indeed. Bum, 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 bum. Artisan Scots. Okay. I go. <laughs> All right. Idiot. Oh, protects just like Burmy, huh? It's the protect episode, guys. All right. What will she have next? A Pelipper that also knows protect. Oh, that is just. That's rude. You can't do that to my wife, right? Ooh! Close one, Iguana. All right. Level 15. Detect. Okay, I mean, well, if I would have used that, you know, before, that would have been pretty useful. Uh, with that being said, I think we will switch Pokemon here. Go, Vibrock on. <laughs> what a jerk move, though. She used Protect just to, you know, prolong the episode. And then she was just like, nope, you know what? That's just rude. Well, your defense boost doesn't matter if I do a flat 20 Baneri. Yeah, normally I think you can find Baneri on this route, right? Or if it's in the Eterna Forest. Uh, but anyway. Yep. Pretty good early. I'm shocked. How did I lose? It's an okay early game Pokemon, you know? I know all sorts of things about Pokemon. Let's see, there are males and females, and some aren't either. Yeah, like my Zapdos. Too true. Anyway, we got some berries here. Petcha, sure. Let's pick it. And I guess I'll plant some berries here since I've already got some growing, so take the orange. Okay. And what shall I plant? Um, eh, two Petchas, I guess. Right beside each other, and I'll water them real quick. And we got some items, you know, both up north and to the left here, so don't mind me just watering my flowers, guys. There we go. All right, let's see what this is. Uh, Poké doll. that's not too useful. Uh, also, I could try fishing here, by the way. A 
we'll probably focus more on it, you know, next episode when we try to catch Pokemon. But let's see what's here. Instead of Magikarp, we have... Oh, boy! That is a big one, I tell ya. It's a uh, Flygonius. Okay. Well, uh, luckily for us, we know your type because we have your free evolution. Your type is... Brock. Um, honestly, I think Wi-Fi can one-shot it because I am level 15, but... Uh, Wait, that was super effective. Oh, so Flygon gains a type to where Electric is super effective. That's good to know. Okay. Interesting. Oh, well, anyway, I think I will switch. Uh, Wi-Fi is pretty beat up, so I'll switch with uh, Vibrocon, and we'll take the Luck Incense and put it here. Uh, Luck, there we go. All right, there we go, and we'll move on. Let's go back to Big View there, there we go. All right, you, battle me. It's a long raid between Team Floroma and Eterna City, so let's battle. Let's do it. Author Scarlet has a Swalox. Oh yeah, that would have been funny too. When that one uh, trainer being like, yeah, get a whiff of this, sends out, uh, you know, Swalot. <laughs> oh, it doesn't affect. Oh, so that must mean it is a ghost type. So I'll go with Fate Attack. <laughs> Speaking of ghost type, this thing kind of does look a little like the uh, design of uh, some of the boos in uh, Super Mario. <laughs> it even, it's even got the, like, diamonds on his chest, so pretty interesting. All right. Nice experience for Brockon. Wow, you even leveled up, buddy. Good job. Good job. Okay. Well, I'm out of Pokemon that can go. Hey, you had a pretty good one, though. Swalot's pretty good. Pretty tanky. Camping with Pokemon. Do you have any idea how fun that is? Dude, I wish. I wish. I mean, imagine, like, taking a, 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 like, a Charmander with you to start a fire. Just, you know, Charmander, use embers very lightly, you know. It'd be awesome to camp with Pokemon. Items in your bag are automatically... Oh, okay. Yeah, we, we know this. All right, anyway, we got this hiker here. Bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum. I've lost my way here of all places. Well, it's not too hard, buddy. You just keep going straight. You're actually pretty close to the uh, forest there. Analyst K. Oh! 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 Oh, he's got a ho. -ho. Well, that's a pretty beefy Pokemon. Alright. Whirlwind. Okay, so who's he going to send in here? Uh. I was afraid of that, yeah. Well, I guess. Since JJ, oh, we traced the aftermath. <laughs> this thing has aftermath. Wow. Yeah, I guess we'll just try to scratch. I mean, oh yeah, yeah. JJ, we might need to get you out of here, buddy. Um, let's hope he uses whirlwind. Okay, thank God. Yeah, let me get something else out here. Like, not flub a flob, not flub a flob. Okay, perfect. We're back on back. Okay. All right, we'll go with Sonic Boom. Oh, we missed. Darn it. Man, that would have done a nice 20 damage. Okay, who's coming out? Uh, <laughs> oh, Flava Flav, I'm so sorry. Uh, let's try Rock Smash with you. Oh, wow, that's actually super effective. That's interesting. He must have used Whirlwind, though, because... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, there's no way Flava Flav should outspeed a Ho-Oh. Like, there's just no way. All right, all right. This is going to be a team effort here, boys and girls. Ember. Oh, wow, that's super effective, too. Jesus. Uh, what is fire and fighting both super effective on? I guess steel? It could be a mixed type, though. All right, Vibrocon, you're back out, buddy. No longer protected by safeguard. Please kill him. Okay, there we go. All right. And we're going to get a group uh, split of EXP. 165. Not bad, not bad. Darklosion, JJ, blah, blah, blah. A little more HP. Oh, and Flop Flop learned Amber. Cool. Having lost his way, the trainer lost in battle too. I think that's what he said. Uh, from being lost in the mountains. So long, I became a hawk. Okay. Anyway, we got a couple items here. Looks like one last trainer to beat, so let's just defeat her. 
Oh, I like the the, the music for the Battle Girls. Hiya! There's no holding anything back. All right, let's do it, Battle Girl. And you're gonna be floating in the air, aren't you? Oh no, no, this is Gen Four Biker Jacqueline. Nicole, big, Nicole, big, trio, 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 trio. All right, this thing is level 15, but uh, yeah, Dick. D Diglett and Doug Trio notoriously have really, really, really low HP, so yeah. Uh, I guess we'll go with Faint Attack. You did lower my attack though, so maybe this won't do as much damage as normal, but I mean, still, your HP is so low that yeah, it's still gonna be like a three hit. Alright, apparently all this thing knows is Growl, so easy EXP for Red Brock on. Wow, yeah, why weren't you using that earlier? Ooh, that's super effective. Ooh, okay, Vibrakon, you're a champ. I can't believe you held on there. Yeah, that was like a magnitude, what, eight or nine? Pretty powerful. Yeah, if he had had, if he would have had stab, he would have killed us for sure there. But, uh, nice. You earned that one, Vibrakon. You know what? You rock on, Vibrakon. I can see, I, I think you're on a different level. Yeah. Get on my level, what? Hiya! You put me in my place. I appreciate it. Uh, you're welcome for defeating me. Pure incense. Uh, what does this do? Pure. I forget what pure does. Uh, oh, it actually repels Pokemon. I doubt I'll be wanting that because I'm actually really interested in all the random Pokemon. But, uh, let's see if we can sneak past you. Okay. I think you can heal in this house, by the way. Uh, let's talk to you. You, yeah, you seem to be tired. Rest a while, sweet. So this is a free heal? Pretty nice. Uh, what's up? Repels are useful, actually. When you use a repel, we Pokemon won't come out. But that also means there won't be any Pokemon to capture. Yeah, exactly. This guy, this guy's feeling me, man. Like, yeah, the pure incense. I don't know, maybe it's useful for exploring, like, a really... An area with a really high encounter rate, and I want to get out. But uh, I'm a big mushroom; we can sell that. But yeah, and for the most part, I kind of want to see the random Pokemon. I want to see the zaniness. All right? I think this is the last trainer here, so oh, I don't know. Should I play a little? Yeah, maybe you should. Arts in Noel. Wow, Snoop. take a while, but, uh, we'll go with Sonic Boom. Hmm. Does this thing have rest at its level? You know, I honestly don't know, but I hope it doesn't. Otherwise, this could be really, really bad, because, yeah, Snorlax is stat buffer. Alright, Lake huh? Okay, good. You didn't paralyze me. Hopefully she also doesn't use potions, because that would suck. Yeah, this thing is buffing, 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 buffing. Alright, okay, we got lucky. Either it doesn't know rest, or she's not smart enough to use rest, so... I feel like we got pretty lucky there, honestly. Oh, boo, how insulting. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say. Listen very closely. Can you hear the cries of Pokemon? Actually, yeah, if you wait in an area for long enough, you will hear uh, Pokemon cries of, uh, it can be like randomly of one of the Pokemon that are in the area. Anyway, we can't go uh, here on this side of the Eternal Force because we need cuts. Um, do you battle me, good sir? Any poison type Pokemon make the Eternal Forest their home, but I didn't buy any of those. What should, you, what I, should I do? Well, you could use some berries. Uh, do I press on or go back? You could go to this nice house right here, and this lady will help you, my good friend. Uh, anyway, we're not going to go into the Eternal Forest yet, uh, because as I've said, we haven't really checked out Pokemon on this route or on the... Uh, yeah, on the other route. But I, with that, I think we fought everyone here, guys. Uh, so I think that's basically going to be an episode. Um, all I'm going to do is basically just go back and heal. And then, uh, yeah, before the next recording of this, I'll do the uh, six hours thing again. And we'll go put some honey on the trees. Check those out. And then, uh, yeah, next episode, 
I guess we will look around here for a uh, random Pokemon here in the Valley Run Works. And then we will go here to Route 205 and look up there. So, sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And I will see you all next time on Pokemon Platinum Randomizer. All right. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.